guys welcome back to the channel thanks for joining crypto trading hub as always guys we are back with another video quick update this time about inverse finance so let's get right into it so guys as we are seeing some very 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 interesting things in the market happening right now as bitcoin finally pushed from 61,000 all the way to 71,000. Of course, that has also a lot that had also a lot to do with us finally having net positive on spot Bitcoin ETFs. For because for the last few days, guys, if we just look over here, we had a lot of negative uh, outflow. We had even an outflow of 326 million, but now we are finally above. It's a small net positive of 15.7 million, but of course that means that we are finally reversing back to the uh, to the upside. So to get back into inverse finance, guys, as Bitcoin make it, made its move, inverse finance had the same uh, trajectory over here. It went all the way from 50,000 to 76,000 before before we saw the correction over here. We tried to hold this very, very strong le uh, support level over here, but unfortunately we went uh, back down. But we have another very, very close support level to the to the previous one. And that's what we are, where we are hovering right now. What, what we need to see right now, guys, from inverse finance, the first thing that we need to see before eventually seeing a continuation back up, as inverse finance is a very, very, very low market cap coin, we could see a push to the upside very, very easily. So we need to see us get above this uh, resistance level over here. Same as we did over here, hold it, hold it there for uh, multiple, multiple touches. Same as we did over here, but the only difference is uh, we don't, we don't need to break back to, to the downside to this support level over here. So what we need to see is a sideways movement while the RSI is resetting to the downside. Because what we are seeing over here is we are seeing a sideways movement of the RSI while the prices were going down. That's a bearish diversion. Okay, we need to see actually. Um, a reverse of that we need to see a sideways movement to the upside while the rsi is going to the downside because that would give us enough room to push us back to the upside we are already very very low at the rsi guys so we have a lot of of, of um, bull power to push back up but of course uh we don't as, as i'm seeing it here we don't have enough power to push all the way above this level over here for us to see a continuation back up especially if we check our boundary bands over here right now guys our boundary bands have a very very small gap so we will be uh, moving up and down up and down so around here for uh, for a couple of maybe a couple of hours or maybe for the next day before we finally make a decision either to the upside or the downside of course guys <laughs> it either goes up if it goes up it goes up if it goes down it goes down but what we are here to say is what is more likely what is very very likely right now is that we will see the push uh, back to the upside over here and i expect this to happen in the next 12 to 24 hours. Of course, everything is related to Bitcoin. If we see any any negative news coming up about Bitcoin, about the spot uh, Bitcoin ETFs, that you have a negative net flow again, we will see a push back to the downside, which would be, of course, bad because we could see a drop all the way back uh, to $50 or even lower. But it's more likely, guys, that we will see a push back, uh, back up as we already, if we check this uh, ascending wedge over here, we're already actually at the border of that ascending wedge right now so as soon as we break above the support level we automatically also break above this uh, descending wedge sorry descending wedge and that will give us a push at least all the way to 64 if not if not even higher so as of right now guys what we need to have a very very close look on is of course on bitcoin spot bitcoin etfs and of course the support levels over here for inverse finance we need to have a very 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 close look at this support level over here sorry resistance level we need to close above it move sideways while our rsi is moving down so we need to see some sideways movement a little to the upside while our rsi is going to the downside to see a positive bullish uh, reaction to the upside like just compare it to bitcoin right now we are seeing bitcoin doing the same if we look at bitcoin over here we are seeing some sideways movement it's a little bit to, to the downside but if you compare the rsi over here is that almost the price is almost at the same level over here while the rsi is much much higher so you are having lower rsi with the same price point so if we push all the way back to the same rsi point over here we will see a higher push um, to the upside so now for for now guys have a very 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 close look at this support level over here i will keep you up to date on the community post if i have any extra update i will be uh, posting uh, every 30 minutes or even less if there is any update on inverse finance so don't forget guys to like and subscribe and turn on notifications and as always guys peace out